So I managed to get out another night after the rats. But I didn't manage to get part where I wanted to because the farmyard was very busy this night. There was tractors running I'm sure to 10 o'clock at night putting slurry out. And since where I initially wanted to park was right beside an open slurry pit, the farmer wisely suggested that I tried the other side of the building where the rats had dug into the bank. Can't blame them really as it's an 8 foot drop into that tank and if the fall didn't kill you the fumes soon would. But this turned out to be quite a good decision because even though the bank where the rats are built into is quite overgrown with weeds and briars, there was gaps big enough in it to be able to pick the rats out and get shots off. So I was hoping that things would brighten up and I would get a few before the night was over. So you can see I've spotted the first rat of the night and I am thinking about trying to squeeze the shot off through the uh, weeds there but I decided to wait and watch it to see where it was going to go. There is a run down to the bottom left hand of the picture there and a place where I'm hoping that the rat will pause where I can get shot at it or I'm wondering if it will go back up the bank and towards the house I shot them in before. Either way I was hoping I would learn something. And what I did learn was when the rat broke cover it didn't stop so I didn't manage to get a shot off at it. So I went round to the mail house, lifted a big handful of mail and put it down just in the crosshairs there in the open hoping that the next rat would come down along it smell the meal, pause in a nice open area and give me a shot. That was the theory anyway. So after a while, as you can see I've spotted another rat, a far bigger one this time. And again instead of taking the shot I decided to wait and see if it would stop and eat the meal and give me a far easier shot. Now I definitely can smell the meal, it's paused there definitely knows there's something new but it's not for showing itself. I was waiting to see if it would poke its head out just that wee bit further along the edge of the path by the weeds. But just as I was, I was looking hopeful the rat made a run for it and cleared off. So what did I learn? Rats don't like pausing in open cover uh, even if there is a nice food source. So I waited a wee while longer and before long I could see a rat doing peekaboo up above the rock there in front of me. So I kept a close eye on the area hoping that he will stick his head up again only for him to appear down at the bottom left hand corner of the rock and then disappeared just as quick. But thankfully he decided to climb up on top of the rock and give me a perfect shot and I put it just in his ear hole. So after a while I had another look-see and again another rat or what I thought was a rat. I wasn't 100% sure so I held my fire just in case. There are one or two cats knocking about here but I think you, me and everybody else knows that that was a rat. I was just being a little too cautious. And after a while he ducked down out of sight. So I gave a little mouse squeak to see if it would pop his head back up and sure enough he did and disappeared just as quick again. But after a few more sharp mouse squeaks he popped up in the rock just like the one before him and I put another one down for the night. So after a few, another few more minutes I decided to scan around the area again. The 
There's a lot of weeds and a lot of rubbish here to try and spot rats through. I decided to cover the other side of the path and saw what I thought was the farmer's dog and then realised all of a sudden it's a fox. So I hurriedly got him in focus only for him to disappear. I tried mouse squeaking him a wee bit to see if it had come round the corner again but no such luck. But he was a good 50 yards away anyway. He was probably there for the same reason I was, to try and get a hell of a rat or two. So after a while I decided to go for a wee walk around the farmyard and try and stretch my legs a little. The van's quite comfortable but it can get a bit cold sitting still with the window open all night. My first port of call was the back door to the shed I shot the rats in the last time and sure enough there was a rat feeding away. But I was having a little dispute with my shooting sticks and the rat cleared off but thankfully he didn't go too far and I managed to get the shot off at about 10 yards. With the look of the shed there's a big lump of silage in the middle of the floor so even if I had parked around the other side I wouldn't have been able to see anything anyway. But he was the only rat in the shed. I did spot a rabbit in the field and had a very embarrassing miss at about 30 yards, putting the shot right over the rabbit's back. But that's how it goes sometimes. So back to the van and back to the rats. Now I thought I'd seen eye shine here but it hadn't been moving for a while and since it had been raining I thought maybe it was just a droplet of water. So I kept scanning and then spotted some movement up at the top of the bank. Now that definitely was a rat. Then all of a sudden what I thought was a raindrop of water down below started moving also. There was two of them sprawling around in the bank and behind the weeds. I lined this one up, took the shot and I, I'm pretty sure I missed, maybe I hit some of the, the weeds in the bank, reloaded. And followed this rat down to the side and dropped him cleanly. Whether it was the one I just missed or not or the other one I don't know, but I kept scanning. and spotted more eye shine, another rat coming up out of the hole. I could have shot him where he was but I was having a little bit of a magazine issue. When I finally did get a clear shot at him, I'm pretty sure I missed him. I'm not a hundred percent sure. He just might made it back into the hole again before I reload it for a second shot. So after a wee bit more waiting. I spotted this boy. I'm not 100% sure what he was the first time I saw him. He's only got a 2 inch tail and he was very dark for a rat. I thought it was a possum or something even though there is none of those in Northern Ireland. But I managed to get a shot off and cleaned him in the back of the head. But that was the last rat of the night. So it was getting late and I decided to pack up and head next home.
There was the mailer throughout to try and get the rats to pause, and the two rats are shot off the top of the rock. And that is the rat I shot at the end there. That's a big warrior of a rat. I never seen one as dark as that. And something's chewed the tip of its tail off. Then that was the one I shot in among the weeds. Which is proving a bit difficult to get out with the grabbers. But with a bit of perseverance I managed to get a good grip of it and pull it out. I walked into the shed and picked up the rat I shot on my wee walkabout. That was another good sized rat as well. So at the end of the night I've got four natural brown rats and one very dark coloured one but uh, not too bad a score for the night.